Hey Chuck, this is Jeremy with Brindley Mountain Fire Apparatus in Alabama. About to shoot a walk around video for you of this 2012 Smeal Spartan platform. Uh, just like all of these that I do, I just did my own uh, walk around on it. The purpose of the video is not to uh, show you how great the truck is, it's to show you the problem stuff so that you're not surprised uh, when you come to visit it. Um, I will. I will tell you, I was a little surprised by it. Uh, it's not a parade truck. It's a nine-year-old truck that came out of Alaska uh, with 45,000 miles. So it's got some stuff, but my experience is Alaska trucks have just been some of the roughest trucks we've bought. And this one is far from that. Um, again, it's not perfect. I'm gonna try to show you the things that I saw, but overall cosmetic condition, uh, really not bad at all. It's a, it's a nice 45,000 mile truck. So I'll show you the problem stuff and I hope that video, uh, the video will be a help uh, to you. So here you go. When I say uh, Alaska trucks tend to be dirty, they just tend to have this uh, sort of grimy, uh, like the stuff that you see right there, they tend to have that all over the truck. Um, and this one just uh, doesn't. The interior is in really nice condition. Uh, I don't think I saw any tears. Uh, it's got this nice uh, info system that controls everything, even your heat and air and your emergency lighting, that kind of thing. Uh, rear cab, which we talked about. I think we talked about maybe adding some seats back there. We can certainly look into doing that. <laughs> oh, here it is. So this is the grimy, if you can see, just sort of how, to, how dirty and sort of grimy that is. That's the normal stuff we see uh, from Alaska. Again, seats are in good condition. The interior is just pretty, it's just clean, pretty clean. 45,000 mile truck. The um, pump panel's really nice, I think because of it being in this uh, compartment rather than being exposed. Uh, it just, you can tell that the gauges and everything have not been sitting out in the weather. So it looks really nice. So let me try to show you, the paint is kind of faded, especially on the back of the truck. Can you see my reflection just a little bit? You ought to be able to see my reflection more. That's a little bit dull. On this back door, you can see it even gets less uh, clear looking. And then back here, it's really pretty flattened out. It kind of flattened out here as well. Um, there's some options for that. We can buff it up. That'll help a ton wax it and buff it. You'd need to do that a couple of times a year. Um, I think this side was Nah, it's not worse. It's the same. About the, that was actually a little bit better. Um, we can buff it up. You'll have to do that a couple of times a year. Once it's inside, it doesn't fade out. We keep them outside here, and that's just not good if the paint's a little faded. Um, or you can, you know, we can always look at repainting the truck, depending on how important the cosmetic stuff uh, is to you guys. Um, the compartments are remarkably clean inside, like just not grimy and dirty. Now, we've cleaned the truck up a little bit, but we didn't do anything like a detail on it. Uh, they're just surprisingly clean for an Alaska truck. Um, the tires looked good to me. Uh, good tread on the front and the rear. And then, man, again, the undercarriage, like, uh, it's from Alaska. I just expected it to be awful. I guess it's got some kind of a coating on it. You can see the surface rust there. But I mean, those frame rails don't don't have anything like rust that would be uh, bad for the truck, sinister, problematic, uh, just normal surface rust. So I guess they did a good undercoating on it. Um, <clears throat> kind of the same thing on the aerial uh, in the sense that, so there's your pedestal controls. 
Um, the aerial just looks pretty clean too. Like it's not dirty and grimy. It looks like it might be due for a service, uh, but not like we normally see sometimes. Now, this is sort of all over it. Uh, little places, it's absolutely what we see with steel ladders that are a few years old. See them everywhere that the paint's knocked off. There's little surface rust stuff. Uh, it'll be years and years and years before that becomes something structural. Obviously, every one of those can be cleaned up. You know, when you repaint the ladder, if you want to spend that much money, but this is a normal thing on a used uh, platform truck um, with a steel aerial. So there's that. Um, so again, even as I'm shooting the video, I'm afraid I've oversold it on the cleanliness and I don't want to do that as a sales guy. It's always better for me to tell you, oh, there is some damage on the back. So I'll show you that. Uh, so again, if you come expecting it to be a parade truck, you're going to be disappointed. But for what it is, it's just in pretty, pretty decent shape. So you can see that. I don't know what they got into. Uh, it just, it's going to need body work here and here. I'll try to pull back and see. It just looks like it pushed in a little bit. It doesn't look like anything uh, terribly structural. See, if you can see, it's kind of a thin area back here. So it looks like we need to do some body work. We'll double check and make sure it didn't get into the heavier part of the truck, do anything to the frame. I didn't open these compartments, but I'm guessing they're gonna be about the same, and they are. Really excited to have this truck. Uh, I didn't open this side. Let's just have a look. Yeah, it looks about the same. So there it is. Um, again, I hope I didn't oversell it. Uh, it's not perfect. It's got some faded paint. We'll have to figure out. It's got some rusty spots up there. Um, that damage in the back. Uh, but man, overall, I'm happy as a used fire truck salesman for that to be the condition of the truck. I think if you come look at it, uh, you're going to be pleased with it. We're going to obviously make sure everything's right mechanically after you come and inspect it. Um, so I hope the video was helpful, and uh, maybe we'll get to see you guys in Alabama in the next week or two. Thanks.